Hi everyone, I'm Steven and today I'm using cardboard to make Katara's betrothal necklace from Avatar The Last Airbender. If you're curious, keep watching, subscribe, like this video, and let's get to it! I started off by taking a small piece of cereal box cardboard and a bottle cap from a cranberry juice bottle. I traced that bottle cap to get a circle and then hot glued it onto another piece of cardboard that's pretty much the same size. When the glue cooled, I cut this medallion piece out and also snipped off a piece of cereal box cardboard to act as the clasp that goes at the top of the medallion. I put it all off to the side and then took a long strip of masking tape and folded it over onto itself so the two sticky sides were stuck to each other. This gave me a flexible strip that I could use as a fake ribbon for Katara's necklace. Then I wrapped this strip around my neck to give me a good fit and I trimmed off any of the excess. I wanted to fancy it up a bit so I also sandwiched the ends of the strip in some small pieces of cereal box cardboard and this kind of just makes it look like there are clasps at the back of the necklace but it also gives me a sturdier surface in order to add some velcro um, onto it so it can be worn. Anyway, on to the paint. The strip of tape was painted in two coats of blue mixed with black craft paint. The medallion just got painted blue and everything else was painted yellow. When it dried, I decided I wanted a lighter shade of blue, so I went back in and painted the medallion over in a light blue. Now to get to the main part of this is the design. So I drew this design onto a piece of computer paper, and then I taped the painted medallion to the back of the paper with the paint side facing the back side of the drawing. I hope that makes sense. I then flipped it over and took a pen and pressed firmly onto the design, tracing all of the lines. And then once all those lines are traced, when you take the medallion off, all the designs are going to be imprinted into the medallion. And after that, I used a blue pen to draw the design on and then I super glued it all together. But you'll see that in two seconds when I'm back with the finished product. So there you have it, Katara's necklace completely made from cardboard and tape. I'm pleasantly surprised with how legit it looks, and I love the fact that it's super quick and easy so anyone can make it. It closes with some velcro, but it's also light enough that if you didn't have velcro you could also just close it with some tape. Anyway, if you think it looks cool, I'd really appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon everyone, Bye bye